Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Always great to be out here on the loading dock. Those are our favorite events. Um, I want to start with some acknowledgments. Alan Steele, President and CEO of the Javits Center. Alan. <clears throat> Mario Salento, President, New York State AFL-CIO. Vinny Alvarez, President, New York City Central Labor Council. <clears throat> Gregory Floyd, President, Teamsters Local 237, welcome. Chris Erickson, Business Manager, Local 3, IBEW. Jim Mahoney, President, New York State Iron Workers District Council. Steve McInnes, New York City District Council of Carpenters. And Michael Spillane, Chief Funds Officer, Operating Engineers, Local 30. Well, thank you again, everyone, for, for joining us. It's a great day for ambition. It's a great day for the Javits Center. And it's a great day for New York. It's a great day for progress, actually making progress, and not just talking about progress. Governor Cuomo announced one year ago the expansion of the Javits Center. His plan was to deliver the kind of convention center that brings business to New York from around the world. A convention center with the space the facilities, the amenities, and more to literally attract every corner of the world to New York. In total, the Javits Center has an enormous economic impact on our economy. $1.9 billion in 2015 alone. But even this level of activity does not compare to what the Javits Center could be generating. If we had the space, if we had the amenities and the world-class design that people expect from the greatest city in the world, as the saying goes, if you build it, they will come. Governor Cuomo is making sure that the promise of the Javits Center expansion unlike previous proposed expansions, actually gets done. In 2016, January of 2016, the governor promised New Yorkers that we would break ground on the Javits Center within the year. Promises made, promises kept. The foundation work needed to start construction is now complete. The new Javits Center will generate 393 million more dollars in economic activity. 393 additional million dollars. It will create 4,000, 4,000 full-time jobs, 2,000 part-time jobs, and 3,100 construction jobs. It will facilitate 200,000 additional hotel room nights a year. It will put New York City back at the top of the convention center business with 55,000 additional square foot ballroom, the largest of its kind in the New York region, 90,000 square feet of permanent exhibit space, to be, to be combined with the existing exhibit space to create approximately 500,000 square foot exhibition hall. A 45,000 square foot state-of-the-art meeting room space, on-site truck marshaling yard, which will dramatically reduce the truck traffic in the neighborhood 27 new loading docks, 
So when we do the event next time, you'll have a brand new loading dock to be on, new kitchen and food service areas, and back of the house and administrative space. And to put icing on this rather large cake, the whole project will boast LEED Silver rating. As you can see, the future of the Javits Center is bright. The future starts today. What this major expansion means for the region's economy, tourism, business, jobs, and spending is what this project is really all about. Governor Cuomo is bringing back New York's vision and ambition. And as you can see, he's getting the job done. Now it is my great pleasure to introduce one of the people who will make the work on this groundbreaking project happen, AFL-CIO President Mario Salento. Thanks, Mario. I'm not actually going to work on the project. You wouldn't want that. You wouldn't want that. But I want to thank you, Howard. I want to thank you. This is exactly the type of, of, of bold, uh, job-generating projects we need in our state, and I want to thank you, Governor, for that. And um, this is about the Governor laying out a vision, but, but so much more importantly than that, following through and getting things done. And I don't think we get enough credit or give them enough credit for that. It's, it's not about just having a vision. It's not just about thinking of an idea. You have to get it done. So, Governor, we thank you for that. You know, what we're doing here is we're creating good, solid, middle-class union jobs with fair wages and benefits and fair, solid conditions of employment. That's why this is so important. There are already thousands of jobs of union members uh, throughout this facility already, but this project is going to create additional thousands of jobs in the construction industry, the hotel industry, the restaurant industry. These are permanent jobs. But more important than that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be stimulating the economic activity of this region. And when we do that, we all win, whether it's in New York City you generate the tax revenue, you generate revenue, and it helps us throughout this state. That's what's so important today, because what today's really all about, it's not, just, it's not just about this facility, it's not just about this structure, it's not just about this, this inanimate object. What today is really about, it's the real tangible effect that, that bold thinking and leadership can have on our society, and that is what the governor has delivered here today. You know, so let me just be let me just be really clear. On behalf of the, the two and a half million members of the New York State AFL CIO, on behalf of the two and a half million union men and women throughout this state, what we understand here today is simply this is that our members work in every single city, town, village, municipality, locality, neighborhood, community, and zip code throughout this state. And on behalf of all of them, Governor, we say thank you. Thank you for this. Because the governor has shown us exactly what true leadership is. You know, leadership is not, is not just hoping. Leadership is not just uh, through words. Leadership is not through press release. Leadership is about dedication. It's about commitment. It's about having an idea and carrying it through. But leadership is about deed, and it is about action. This deed and this action. So, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, Governor, I thank you for leading the way. And uh, I now have the extraordinary honor and, and privilege to introduce to you, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, the governor of the great state of New York, our governor, our champion, our friend, Governor Andrew Cuomo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It is a pleasure to be here. I said to Howard Zemsky when I walked up, see, when you're Governor of the State of New York, you go to all the glamorous settings, right? Uh, but I'll stand on this loading dock any day. As long as there is steel coming out of the ground behind me, I'll stand wherever they put me. Uh, first, Mario Salento, who's a great president of the AFL-CIO, and my brothers and sisters here from the labor movement. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for your partnership. Thank you for your leadership. One of the critical needs in this country and in this state right now is good jobs for the middle class. And that's what uh, the AFL-CIO is all about and the trades are all about. And let's give him a round of applause and thank him for being here. <laughs> Howard Zemsky and Alan Steele, who when we first talked about this project, 
which is a big project. This is about $1.2 billion that we're talking about. Uh, we laid out a timetable. It was the most aggressive and, and fast timetable for a project like this that had ever been set out. Uh, and Mr. Zemsky and Mr. Steele were a little dubious at first, I think it's fair to say. But they delivered. Once again, as Mario Salento said, uh, the, the, the art form of government is making it work. It's not talking about it. It's not planning or proposing or thinking or hoping or issuing press releases, but it's actually getting it done. Getting it done despite the obstacles, despite the bureaucracy, and making a change in people's lives. Uh, and that's what they both did here, and they did it, as usual, incredibly well and incredibly quickly. And let's give them a round of applause, Howard Zemsky and Alan Steele. I was HUD secretary for eight years in the Clinton administration, and HUD was about economic development and funding construction and big projects around the country. And I would say to a city or I would say to a state, you are what you build. You are what you built. And when I would be flying into a city or a state, as the plane was landing, I would just look out the window and count the cranes. You count the cranes, and if you see what the city, the state is actually building, developing, it tells the story of what their future is going to be. Because either you are building and growing and developing, or your competitor is. And if you're not, you are going backwards. You may not realize you're going backwards, but you're going backwards because your competitors are going forwards. And when you think about New York and what we've built and what we've done and what we are, we haven't done much major development, infrastructure, transportation work in decades. We've been living off our legacy. We've been living off our father's projects. We've been living off our grandfather's and our grandmother's projects. You look at our big projects, the big transportation projects, the big infrastructure projects. They're 1930s, 40s, 50s. The Javits Center was relatively new uh, in terms of large-scale projects. So we did lose the ambition the, the energy that made New York, New York. And for a period of time, we just sat still. Now, luckily, uh, we had so much strength and so much momentum that uh, in many ways, we, we kept our place. But we have not been growing and advancing the way we should. Javits Center, Convention Center, is a great metaphor for the entire situation. The convention centers are a very competitive business. They're very, they are a very powerful magnet, bringing people to a state, bringing business, but it's also very competitive. And either you are growing and improving or they pass you by. Uh, sort of like what's happening in sports, you know? 30 years ago, six foot three, you could be a forward. Six foot three today, you're a small guard at best. You know, uh, when this convention center opened, or when it was planned, it was going to be very, very large. By the time it opened, it was already dated when it opened. As soon as it opened, they started talking about expansions for it to be competitive. Uh, and there is no uh, little steps to take to be competitive. If you want to be a major player as a convention center, it's a significant uh, commitment and a significant undertaking. And that's exactly what this is. Uh, Javits Center, uh, this increase, as I said, was about a $1.2 billion increase. It's going to increase the size of the Javits Center by 50%, uh, adding about a million square feet to the Javits Center. Also changing the asset itself, five times more meeting rooms, uh, which are now much more important for conferences, 
55,000 square foot ballroom, largest ballroom in the Northeast. So it is really a state of the art, highly competitive facility. Uh, what does it do for us? It does economic development, it does jobs. And that's what it's about. It's about the 3,000 construction jobs. It's about the $400 million in economic activity uh, that will increase because of this expansion. Uh, and it is part of the larger vision that we have for our new New York. You want New York to grow? You want to continue to grow? The formula is very simple. You have to attract more people to live, work, and play, and you have to have the capacity to house them and the capacity to move them. And if you look at our overall plan for a new New York, that's exactly what it's about. $100 billion plan, largest development plan in the state's history, and it is comprehensive and it is strategic. It's a new Javits Convention Center to bring more people to the city. It's a new Penn Farley, a couple of blocks from here, to bring more people into the city. It's a new LaGuardia Airport, a new JFK Airport, because they are long overdue. It's improvements to the Long Island Railroad to get people in from the east uh, on a commute that actually works for people. It's doing more with the regional airports. It's more MTA subway cars, buses, et cetera. So it is the largest, most comprehensive redevelopment plan uh, that, that builds on what makes New York, New York. And our brand is that we are the best, we are the most ambitious, uh, and we are the most aggressive. That's what makes us New Yorkers. And now we're going to have a convention center that merits uh, New York and it is going to be a world-class facility once again, uh, and it is part of a redevelopment of this city and this state that is going to make this state a better state. And at the end of the day, it's very simple. Our obligation as citizens, as parents, uh, as human beings, God put us on this planet, and we're supposed to leave it better than we found it. And we're going to leave this state better than we found it, and today is a great step in that direction. Congratulations to all. Great. Thank you all so much uh, for joining us. Before we do the uh, ceremonial groundbreaking, Alan has a uh, small, gift. small, intriguing gift that he'd like to present to the governor. Governor, you mentioned uh, our fathers, and as you are well aware, this building, which originally opened in 1986, was opened by another Cuomo, by Governor Cuomo, your father. And that, this building celebrated 30 years of successful economic contribution last year in 2016. So we developed, in commemoration of that, this limited edition Lego model of the Javits Center. Um, there are only 250 of these. This is number one. Uh, and knowing how much you love infrastructure projects, we thought this would be a suitable gift so that when you don't have another one to do, you can spend your time building your own Thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, It comes with the commitment that uh, not only do we give you this, but we commit to giving you an extension of it when we're finished with the expansion. <laughs> and this is a lot cheaper. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right, you are welcome to join us for the ceremonial groundbreaking just down the steps. Thank you all.